Hello, hello everyone. It's Shelly with Chalk Tour. Welcome, welcome. It's Tuesday. And I am exhausted. Say hello as you guys hop on. See if we're actually live. I don't see my video just yet, so let's just wait a minute. Here we go. Oops. I hope everyone's doing well today. As you guys hop on, let me know by saying hello. I'm just gonna get this sprinkled out quickly here. We will get started here any minute. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate you. As always, you know that. All right, let's do. All right. Happy Tuesday, you guys. I have two new puppies. Yes, we did it. We did it. We finally got two puppies. I figured if we got the, their brothers, and I thought if we got both of them, that they would help um, with transitioning better and sleeping better. Um, so yeah, and I'm exhausted. I forgot what it's like to have a little baby in the house and to be just so demanding. So maybe... Um, maybe one day soon we will bring them on one of my videos so you guys can see them and meet them. They are so cute. I know. They are, they are busy, busy little babies. That's for sure. All right, guys, today we're going to do, um, the one transfer of this two transfer to design transfer. This is called P Rabbit and then Sure to Grow. So this is the Sure to Grow. This is P Rabbit. It's supposed to be Peter Rabbit, but I'm sure with copyrights they can't say Peter Rabbit. So I'm sure that's why they named that that. Let's see what kind of comments we got here. I saw Kathy. All right. So let's get that split, and then we are going to use the drop-in panel that goes in the drop-in box frame. So we can put this one back until next time. Um, a lot of people are getting these drop-in frames um, to change out monthly or seasonally. So I would say this would be our Easter one for the year. Um, there's probably other designs that we could fit in there. Um, but we're going to do this one. We're going to use the panels you get. Where's my other ones here? You get three panels. When you first get the drop-in box, you get um, three panels. And they're, they are silky smooth. Um, it doesn't say that they're the uh, chalk suede, but it feels like it. So I think they are. Um, but you get three. Now in the description of the video, there is a link to get um, the transfer, the box frame, some paste colors, some um, 
mini squeegees, and that should get you started. Also, we have our fuzzing cloth here. So let's take this out. Um, so this is the drop-in frame. It has this little slot so that three of these can fit in here at once. Um, so you just kind of drop it in, and then when it's time to switch it to another one, um, you either can just lift it out. Um, it's double-sided, so you can use both sides. So you have three, which gives you six sides. So that takes you, I think when they released this, they were thinking um, you would have the Love You More is for February. The March is the Dragonfly. The April is the Bunny. The May is the Peony. And then the June is the June Bug or Lightning Bug or Ladybug. It looks like a Ladybug, but I think it's a June Bug. I think that's where they were going with that. And then the flag for either the Canada uh, flag or the USA flag for July. So they've got you from February to July. Now they wouldn't leave you hanging for the rest of the six months. So they are going to release something from August to January. So look for that to come. But we're going to go ahead and put that aside. And let's start getting to work here. Now, I'm just going to write P Rabbit. With this being um, the chalk suede or kind of like a, um, I wouldn't say it's foam board. It's, it kind of feels like backer board, but it does have that chalk suede feel to it. So I think it is chalk suede. But with that, we need to fuzz our transfer really well so that when we pull it up, our uh, transfer doesn't curl. Because sometimes when you really have to tug and pull at it, um, then it starts to curl because the tension makes it curl. All right, so let's go ahead and fuzz. I'm just gonna kind of move this around a couple ways here. It doesn't feel too incredibly sticky to me, so I think we should be all right. Um, fuzzing just takes away that little bit of adhesive so that it's not so sticky. All right, we'll put that over there. If you find, like, once you put it on and you try to kind of play with it a little bit and it's really, really sticking to it, then I would suggest you uh, go ahead and keep fuzzing it a bit. Now, I am going to definitely... Um, center this side to side as best I can. And then I'm kind of bringing the design up more than I am down. I don't want to center it um, up and down wise because again, right, you're going to slip that through. There is a channel. Let's see if I can get you to see that. There's a channel there. So we're going to lose a portion of that of the drop in piece. So you want to accommodate for that. All right, so we're just going to, I think right there is good. So let's make sure we're putting that nice and tight against our surface here. I'm just going to give it a little tug. I think that's okay. It doesn't feel like it's too terribly sticky. I do see a hair or something in there. See if I can get that off. It's definitely probably my hair and not a puppy hair. <laughs> okay. Nope, it's still there. How is that? It's like sticking to the top. There we go. Nope, still there. Well, that's strange. Unless it's one of the fibers from the transfer itself. But it's on top, so I... I thinking we should be okay, but let me see if I can get that off. This is gonna drive me crazy. It's definitely on the top of the transfer, which is so weird. All right, you know what? It's not touching any of the mesh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there. I do see, however, that our, remember this slug line here, or the copyright line? That is pure mesh. So we need to tape that off. 
so that I don't accidentally uh, cover it with paste because I don't want that on my sign. So we're going to cover that up. We're going to come over here and just cover that up with our placement tape. Okay. All right, friends, if you are watching with me live, say hello and welcome to you if you're catching the replay. All right, I think I'm good. All right, we're gonna put on glasses. I'm getting a really bad glare, so I need to see what I'm doing. I also need, let's see. I'm gonna grab my little made up color, um, which is nothing but camel and storm mixed together because that's the color I'm gonna make my rabbits. Um, how many of you have heard of Peter Rabbit or Beatrix Potter? Say yes in the comments. Uh, we actually did our first daughter's, uh, her room was all done in Beatrix Potter. So I had, oh gosh, I had it all for her. Of course, it was our first. So her room just had all kinds of Beatrix Potter stuff and Peter Rabbit stuff and Peter Rabbit books and all that. Yes, Kathy. All right. Kathy, I also want to say thanks for being a club member. Yay. Lots of good stuff coming up for club members. All right. I'm just going to try to thin this out a little bit here. All right, I'll have to make some more. We're getting low on my made up color. All right, let's go ahead and get a mini squeegee. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bunny that color. And then probably just to keep the color going, I probably will do like down here just to kind of keep our eyes coming down. So let's do that, let's do our bunny. This would be a cute little cutout too, just a little bunny. All right. I tried to get colors that looked like the colors in Peter Rabbit. So we'll see if I came close. Oh, really? Oh gosh, we had everything Beatrix Potter. It was crazy. All right, so there's our bunny. Oh yeah, we wanted to do the words. Well, let's, you know what? We're gonna work our way down. So as I remember, I thought these two colors would be good for our blues. So that's our Colonial and Lakeshore. Because remember, Peter Rabbit has a jacket. And then I have Eucalyptus for our little greenery. So let's work with those. I brought out a yellow and an orange just because they were um, light colored and pastel -y. So I thought maybe we could do that. Let's do the words in our, I really like this. I think this is the colonial. I really like colonial. So let's do the words in colonial. This is gonna bring back memories. These colors already just bring back all those memories from all those years ago. I even did like a cross stitch kit, I think, with Peter Rabbit. And we had the movies and we had the books and oh my goodness, we had it all. Let's get another one. Let's use our eucalyptus for our greenery. And let's see, there's a couple little dots here on our greenery. I'm gonna go over it with the eucalyptus. I may come back and do it. Maybe we'll use the yellow. That just seemed to be like really pretty nursery colors, you know, all these pastels. And it wasn't really, um, you know, it wasn't meant for a boy and it wasn't meant for a girl. It wasn't color, gender, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get our 
excess up. All right, and let's pull it so far so that we're not chancing anything drying up. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look like the Beatrix pot of colors? I think it does. Let's dry it up a little bit. Love it, love it, love it. And they always had chamomile tea because Peter Rabbit always had a tummy ache. Gosh, when she was little, I could probably cite you those books by heart because she loved books. Loved, loved, loved reading. Okay, we can tack that down a little bit. All right, let's do, let's do farms in our blue. Okay. Make sure you're just chalking over where you want that specific color. This is one of our new transfers where it's a lot more transparent for us. Um, and it chalks real nice, I think. Okay, I just wanna make sure I'm getting the tops and bottoms. Get that excess off, okay. Then let's do that 100% organic with our made up color. Which we shouldn't need too much. Trying to not to get into that blue. I don't really wanna bring any of that blue down. Hello, Miss Mary, how are you? I should have my husband down, bring the puppy down. So we have two puppies and one, they're brothers. And one belongs to my daughter, one of my daughters. And we'll take him um, when she moves out. She plans on moving out probably this fall. So he eventually will go with her. So then we will be down to one. But it's so fun watching them play and they get into some scuffles and all the things. All the things, those two boys. But then they're so sweet and they lay together and they sleep together and they're just so darn cute. So stinking cute. But they're a lot of work. They are a lot of, they are awake a lot. <laughs> You'd think for little babies, they'd be sleeping all the time. That is not the case. That is not the case. Okay. I'm gonna pull up this way. I don't think we're gonna bring any yellow into it like I thought. So let's just go ahead and pull it. There we go. Doesn't that look like the Beatrix pot of colors? I love it. I love that. Goodness. How pretty is that? Gosh, I kind of wish like I had their nursery again. This would have been perfect. Thank you, Kathy. Should I tell my husband to bring the puppy down? You want to see him? He's so cute. He's such a cute little baby. All right, let's clean up our mess. Look how easy this was, you guys. So quick and easy. You can do, you know, as you're doing each month as it goes along. It should take you about five, ten minutes, depending on how many colors you're going to use. Yes, Kathy says yes. Let me text my husband, see if he'll bring him down.
Okay, I text him, so let's see if he will bring him down. The other one will probably start crying, though, because they, they do looky for each other. We try to take them, we try to give them some individuality, like not always be together. So, like, sometimes we'll take them outside separately so that they're not always together. Because eventually we're going to have to start the split. So, so there's that. P. Rabbit and Company Farms. So then, again, make sure this is nice and dry because you're going to be throwing it in this little spot here and you don't want to scrape it off. I'm just going to let that slide in. And there is our sign. Isn't that cute? love it that turned out so well so these are wood frames they can be paintable so you can use any kind of chalk paint acrylics watercolor whatever you can use our paste to paint them as well I've seen it done in black and it's really sharp in black too especially because you're putting white um, sheets in there I'm guessing those could even be paintable so that's good to know because the other side we were trying to glue something on. Thank you. We were trying to glue something on and it came, remember our fox we did a couple days ago? Um, so I still have some, I have the spray on here still from us trying to, or the Mod Podge, I think it was. So I might try to um, sand that a little bit and then paint it. I think that'll be our next project. We'll try to paint that. Let's see. Let's see what the hubby says. He's not answering. He's not answering. Okay. We may have to bring him on, on air next time. But let's see. We'll give him a couple more minutes here. Let's put that aside. Let's clean up our transfers. Let's show you how it's so easily clean. Um, now with now with we nah, now that we have these new transfers, okay. So I'm gonna spray it with just water. It's just regular old uh, tap water on in this one. So we're gonna spray it because the paste does still dry on these. Okay. that sit for a second. Let's get a wipe. All right, and then we're just going to kind of rub that off. So whatever's sitting on top of the transfer right now, which isn't much because you barely have anything left behind with these new transfers, the paste glides real easily on them. And it almost seems like it just goes through the mesh and that's it. All the other areas stay relatively clean but it's still the same thing you have to do back the both sides you know the adhesive side here and the front side so we're just going to kind of rub our wipe on that okay push that down i have a very old and loved board eraser. So let's just go ahead and rub that. All right. So you can see that's pretty clean. We can see right through to our work mat here. I'm going to just do it one more time on the back side. This will take the final little staining and any kind of excess paste out of our mesh. Okay. So we'll just wipe that up. Okay. One more wipe and we... We should be good. All right. I'm not sure the little puppy is going to be coming down right now. He might be sleeping. Let's see. See if he answered me.
Let's see, one more time I'm gonna ask. Right, let's see if he's gonna come down. If not, I will bring him on air another day. I promise, I promise, I promise. All right, and then I still take the paper towel and I lightly glide it. Um, these do tend to dry a lot quicker when I do that, so just keep that in mind that you don't wanna to press too hard um, because it will, well, I don't know if it will or not, but it does start to pull against that adhesive, so you don't want to smudge it. And they are just not answering me. They could be eating dinner. We haven't eaten dinner yet. We're eating a late dinner. Kind of have been a little busy. Everybody works in the house. Um, So there's not really much downtime. I'm trying, still trying to get that hair or whatever that is. It's almost like it's a thread from that mesh. And I just can't seem to get it. And it's gonna drive me nuts. Oh well, all right, let's get that back a sheet. Cause this is, Back to its regular stickiness. Very sticky. And we didn't have to pull too terribly on it when we took it off, so we don't really have any, it's not really wrapping or anything, so that's good. We're rolling. Push that down. And we'll leave that out for the night so it can get nice and dry. And then here again is our P. Rabbit and Company Farms, Beatrix Potter style. All right, guys, thank you so much for hopping on tonight. I appreciate you and waiting for me. And just one note about the chocolate chips that just came out yesterday. The etched butterflies and the bunny cutouts are gone and not to return. So if you want the gnomes, the woodland animals, <coughs> or... Trying to think what it was. Woodland animals, the gnomes. Oh, and the birthday cake. Oh, here comes the puppy. Here he comes. What was he doing? Sleeping. He was sleeping. Come here. Little Mobley. So his name is Mobley. Let's see. Here, let's give him a full shot. Hold well on. There he is. This is Mobley. Isn't he cute? He was sleeping, so he's sleepy, baby. Huh. <laughs> you want a nice up close? Say, look at me. <laughs> Aww. We should do Mobley, Mondays with Mobley. We'll see how that works. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Thanks again for hopping on. 